Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tomogomi. Today we are back for another statue tour. Once again, continue with the theme of Fortnite. Today we are doing the Cuddle Team Leader. So, a lot of you guys have been requesting this statue, and I've actually been sitting on the design for quite a while, because I actually made it on July 4th, I believe it was, when the American Fireworks Edition one came out, and I've also got that design, so again, let me know if you want to see that down in the comments section below. But today we are doing the traditional pink cuddle team leader so the original one the valentine's day skin um so without further ado let's get straight into the tutorial the blocks you're going to need are as following you'll need white concrete purple terracotta magenta terracotta magenta wool light gray concrete cyan terracotta gray concrete light gray wool block of quartz white terracotta black concrete or alternatively with a skeleton skulls now, I'll explain later on in the video why that is something you can alt have an alternative between, um, and it's basically just personal preference, but again, we'll talk about that later on in the video. So anyways, again, I'm going to leave a link to the Fortnite playlist. If you haven't checked out any of my other videos before we start this, please do go and check them out. I've done a bunch of different characters, some of them hopefully you will enjoy. As well as that, if you do enjoy the video at the end, definitely consider leaving a like, subscribing if this is the kind of content you're into, and also let me know what you want to see on the channel by leaving a suggestion in the comments below. Enough plugging, let's start building. So, starting off, we're going to start with the legs. The front side of the legs is a 12 by 8 rectangle, and we're going to start off by finding a nice empty space, and with our first layer, which is going to be 8 white concrete. So once again, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 white concrete. So that's layer number 1. Again, 12 tall, 8 wide, each layer is 8, 12 in total, so let's continue. So the second, third, and fourth layer now is going to be 8 purple terracotta. Once again, that's the second, third, and fourth layer, and that's going to be 8 purple terracotta. And on top of this, what we're going to do is we're going to build up 7 layers using magenta walls. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Again, this is all the way across solid. This will bring you up to the 11th layer, which is the second to top layer. And the very top layer, the 12th layer, is going to be pretty simple as well. Of course, we are going to add some 3D effects in a second, but for now we're just building the basic legs. So, as you can see in front of you, that is one layer of white concrete, three layers of, uh, sorry, I was about to say magenta, but it's purple terracotta, so purple terracotta, and also seven layers of magenta. So that's 11 tall in total. For the 12th and final layer, what we're going to do is we're going to place two, layer, uh, two blocks of magenta, four blocks of quartz and two blocks of magenta wall and once you've done that that is a 12 by 8 rectangle now that is the basic part of the legs however of course this tutorial is not going to be basic we're going to be making it look a lot more realistic by adding a ton of 3d effects so again if you want to please do use this opportunity to pause once again that's 12 tall and 8 wide and we're going to start adding some 3d effects making it look a bit more interesting so, starting off, we're going to work from the bottom, work our way up to the top. We come to the bottom left corner, to the second block, we're going to place two white concrete, leave a two block gap, and place two more. So again, when I say 3D effects, we're building it in front of, we're not replacing, we're not breaking anything, we're building it in front of. So, we're going to start off on the left side first, because that's the easier. So, on the white um, concrete here, we're going to place a 2x2 two two of pink, or sorry, why do I keep on saying pink? It's because it's a pinkish colour, purple terracotta, so this one here, purple terracotta. We're going to place a 2x2 two two on top of the white concrete. That's the left side done. On the right side, slightly more complicated. So, on the left side of this right white concrete, we're going to build up two using light grey concrete. On the right side, we're going to build up two using light grey wool. Now, either side, on the left side and the right side, we're going to extend one to left and one to right using grey concrete. And on top of this, we're going to place a layer of four blocks, and this is going to consist of one light grey concrete, two cyan terracotta, and one light grey wall. And essentially, this is representing kind of like the knee pad that is on the, just above the boot of the character. Now, this is the first step. Of course, this is going to extend around to the side, but we'll worry about that for later. In terms of the next step, it's kind of the straps that go around the knees and also the legs. So, what we're going to do is come to this light grey wall here. So, this is the fourth layer. Move up to the sixth layer. So, from here, we're going to go up once and twice, and we're going to place a light grey wall. From here, we're going to build one, two, three to the left using light grey concrete. And on top of this, starting from left to right, we're going to place three cyan terracotta, one grey concrete, 
And on top of that, we're going to place three light grey concrete and one light grey wall. So it gives you this four by three rectangular area. Now, in the middle layer, which is the layer which has the cyan terracotta, using our grey concrete, we're going to go four to the left, and that's going to extend round. And again, that will go round the side of the leg. Once again, after I do something, I'm going to back up, give you guys an opportunity to pause if necessary. Please, once again, do use the opportunities as needed. The final step we're going to do for the legs is we're going to come to the top left corner. From here, we're going to go down one, two. So on this block here, we're going to place a grey concrete. Once again, there should be a two block gap between the grey concrete here and the grey concrete here. From this grey concrete, we're going to go one to right, one cyan terracotta and one grey concrete. So it's four in total. And once you've done that, that is the front side of the legs complete. So again, brief opportunity to pause if you need to do so. And now what we're going to do is move upwards, going towards the body. So the body itself is going to be, just like the legs, a 12 by 8 rectangle. For the first layer, we are going to start off by placing one magenta wall either side, so on the left side and the right side. And then what we're going to do is actually mark out the hands. So what I mean by this is we're going to, on the left side, build two to the left using purple terracotta, one magenta and one purple. So that's a four block extension to the left side. We're going to repeat this on the right side, so that's two purple, one magenta, one purple, and that's a four block extension to the right. Now, again, this is just marking our hands. We're not going to worry about the arms for now. We'll come back to that later on in the video. For now, it's just marking out, saves time later down the line. Anyways, continuing now with the actual body itself, in between the magenta we just placed, we're going to place six blocks of quartz. This is the first layer of the body. Again, first layer of 12. So let's continue layer by layer. So for the second layer now, we are going to place one grey concrete, one light grey concrete, four white concrete, one light grey, and one grey. So again, that is the second layer, and this is going to be the pattern that breaks up the center chest. So there's going to be elements where we use white concrete to contrast with the quartz. On top of this, for the third layer, we're going to place one purple wall, or sorry, one magenta wall. <laughs> I'm really not doing too well with the colors tonight, am I? Uh, six blocks of quartz and one magenta wall. So again, that is our third layer. Now, in terms of the pattern in the middle of the chest, this is where the next layer kind of comes into play. So we're going to place one magenta wall. We are then going to place two quartz, two gray concrete, two quartz, and one magenta wall. So again, that is our fourth layer. For our fifth layer now, we're going to place one magenta wall, one quartz, two gray concrete, one cyan, one gray concrete, one quartz, and one magenta wall. So again, that is now our fifth layer. For our sixth layer, the halfway point, we're going to place one magenta, followed by one quartz, one gray concrete, two quartz, one gray concrete, one quartz, and one magenta wall. And again, that's our sixth layer. As you can see, we now have the pattern in the center of the chest. To cap this off, for our seventh layer, we're going to do one magenta, six blocks of quartz, and one magenta wall. And on top of this, we're going to do a layer very similar to the second layer. So for this layer, we are going to place one magenta, one light gray concrete, four white concrete, one light gray, and one magenta wall. And that was our eighth layer. On top of this, for our ninth layer, we're going to place one magenta wall, six blocks of quartz, and one magenta wall. That's our ninth layer. Our tenth layer now is kind of wrapping up this centerpiece here, the chest. So we're going to place two magenta, four quartz, two magenta. So again, you can kind of see it's curving in just like we had at the bottom. The 11th layer now, the second to last layer, is going to be eight blocks of magenta wall. And then the 12th and final layer is going to be two magenta. You're then going to have to grab yourselves your white terracotta, if I can grab it into my inventory. So four white terracotta and two magenta wall. And once you've done that, you can see that is now a top eight rectangle. And that is the front side of the body. Now, it's not 100% complete. Of course, we will be adding some 3D effects. And we've also got to build the arms. So we're going to get that out of the way first, and then we'll start adding the 3D effects afterwards. So with each arm, 
Each arm is going to be 12 by 4, so that's 12 tall and 4 wide. Of course, it starts on the 13th floor of the build, we've already marked this out. If you haven't, come to 13th floor of the build, 4 blocks to the left, that being 2 purple, 1 magenta, 1 purple, same on the right side, just mirrored. On the basis you've got that, we're going to continue, so again, layer by layer, left to right. The second layer is going to be 2 purple, 1 magenta, 1 purple, and to cap this off, we're going to do 2 layers of 4 purple. That's the first four layers complete. On top of this, we're just going to build up eight using magenta wool. If you have done it correctly, or have you? if you have done the uh, body correctly, it will match up to the exact same height, and that will give you a 12 by 4 rectangle. That is the left arm complete. The good news is the right arm is indeed the exact same. It's just flipped over and mirrored. So if you want to copy that over, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to go through it and explain it nonetheless. So heading over to the right side, exact same logic applies, four blocks out to right. First layer is two purple, one magenta, one purple. Second layer is going to be one purple, one magenta, two purple. To cap this off, we're going to do two layers of four purple. And on top of that, we're going to do eight layers of magenta wool, which will bring us all the way up to the top. And that will wrap up the front side of the body. So once I've done this, I shall back up, give you guys an opportunity to pause, as you can see here. So that's a body. That's 12 by 8, each arm 12 by 4. And then we'll go ahead and add the very simplistic 3D effects. So starting with the 3D effects, what we're going to do is come to the top corners of each of side of the body. So this is the left side and, of course, the right side. What we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves some grey concrete and we're going to place a strip. So essentially, come to the top left corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the fifth block, so the first block of the body, again, just to clarify, we're going to place a grey concrete and we're going to go down one, two, three. You'll know it's correct because it will match up with the exact same level as the quartz here. And we repeat this on the right side. So one, two, three, four. So a strip of four grey concrete on the left side and strip of four grey concrete on the right side. Now on the left side, what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves our purple. From the grey concrete here, we're going to go one to the left using purple, one magenta and two purple. If you back up, it should now look something like this. The final step we're going to do is cap off each hand. So coming to the fourth layer on the left side, we're going to place two purple, one magenta, one purple. As you can see, again, as a 3D effect. And on the right side, we're going to come once again, fourth flare of the arm, one purple, one magenta, two purple. Once you back up, it should now look something like this. It kind of gives the effect of gloves and also the backpack, or in this case, back bling that's attached to the back. We'll worry about that later on. But for now, this is what the statue should look like. So that is the front side of the body, 12 by 8, and the front side of each arm, 12 by 4. If I back up, you should now have something that looks like this. And once you have this, what we're ready to move on to now is actually starting to make the statue 3D, in turn, basically building the sides. So, to start this process off, what we're going to do is come to the bottom left corner. From this white concrete here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to left, again using white concrete. And essentially, the sides are going to follow this structure. So the side is going to be 12 tall and 4 wide. However, this row here, this row you're looking at, is your fourth block. What this means is we're only placing 3 blocks per layer, because 3 plus the already existent 1 gives us our 12 by 4. On that basis, we've already got the first layer, which is white concrete. The next three layers is going to be three purple terracotta. And on top of that, we're going to do eight layers of magenta wool. That is as simple as it can get. That is the left side of the leg. Once again, that's a 12 by 4. And if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. Now, as I mentioned before, there is going to be some 3D effects that kind of wrap around the side of the leg, like straps. So we're going to come to the top left corner, come down to the tent flare. And starting from the left side, we're going to place one gray concrete, two cyan, one gray. And if you have done it correctly, it'll match up with the front side. What we're also going to do is go down a further three blocks to this one here. And we're going to place two grey, one cyan, and one grey. And once again, it'll match up perfectly in the corner to that angle. And that is the left side of the leg. Once again, if you want to pause, feel free to do so. I'm going to head around to the other side, which is indeed the right side, and make some progress there. So heading round, exact same logic applies. We're going to go 1, 2, 3 to right using white concrete, 3 layers of purple terracotta, and 8 layers of magenta wool. Once we've got our base layer, which is of course 12 by 4, so that's 12 tall and 4 wide, we're going to add the 3D effects. In this case, there's a few more, but of course, because they match up with the side there, it makes sense. 
So starting off, we're going to come to the third layer on the left. We are going to place one grey concrete, one cyan, and two grey. On top of this, we are going to leave a two block gap. In line with the grey wall here, or the light grey wall, we're going to place two grey concrete, one cyan, one grey. Going back to the left side, we're going to build up two using grey, one to the right using cyan, and two to the right using grey concrete. As you can see, that is the right side of the leg, and it matches up with the patterns on the front side. So again, from a corner angle, looks like this. If you want to pause, please feel free to do so. So the next step we're going to do is, of course, work on the arms. However, before we work on the arms, we need to build the platforms that are the undersides of the hands. So essentially, what we're going to do is come around to the rear side of the statue. From this purple terracotta here, we're going to expand one, two, three backwards, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and from below it should now be a four by four platform. Come over to the other side and repeat the exact same, so one, two, three, all the way backwards, and this will give you your four by four area. And this is going to be the base of the hands. If you come around to the side now, you'll notice just like we had on the side of legs, we've got the first layer, and then we've also got the fourth block of each row. So what this means, Again, exact same scenario, fourth block already done, so that means we're only placing three blocks per layer because three plus the already existing one gives us our 12 by four. So the side of the arms is very, very simple. The first two layers is gonna be purple terracotta. The third layer is gonna be one purple and then two white terracotta. And to cap that off, we're gonna place three purple terracotta. On top of this, we're gonna build up eight layers using magenta wool. That will give you your basic 12 by four and just like we did on the front side, we're going to add some 3D effects which are going to curve round the side. So, in line with the ones at the side, we're going to come to the fourth layer. We're going to place a row of four purple terracotta as a 3D effect. We are also going to come to the tenth layer. Um, yeah, no, the ninth layer. And we're going to place a row of two purple, one magenta, and one purple. So again, there's a three block gap from the top so it's the ninth layer and it will be in line at the corner angle as the front side so again from a corner looks like this the side is 12 by 4 and the 3d effects are on the fourth and ninth layers so in terms of the right side exact same logic we've got the platform first two layers purple terracotta third layer is going to be two white one purple and fourth layer is purple on top of this, eight layers of magenta. On this side, we only need to do one 3D effect because there is no band coming around the corner there. So we simply just go to the fourth layer. We're going to place a row of four purple terracotta. From a side angle, it looks like this. You can now see the statue is starting to take shape. So again, if yours doesn't look like this, please pause the video, go back, see where things haven't gone quite to plan, work from there. Alternatively, just drop a comment, let me know, and I'll try and help you. So, as I said, making good progress. If we head around to the rear side of the statue now, you'll notice not so much. Um, and that's what we're going to work on now, is filling this all in. Starting off with the rear side of the legs. The rear side of the legs is going to be a 12 by 8 However, because we've already done the sides, the left side and the right side are already done. That's two blocks of each row done, which means we're only placing six blocks, because six plus the existing two gives us our eight. So, it's a case of linking left side to right side. First layer is going to be six white concrete. Layers two, three, and four, it's going to be six purple terracotta. And then the remaining layers is simply going to be six magenta wool. So just build all the way up to the top, and that will give you your nice and easy 12 by 8 rectangle. What we're then going to do is finish off the 3D effects, which wrap around to the rear side, and conclude. So once again, that's the basic shape, that's 12 tall, 8 wide, that's one layer of white concrete, three layers of purple terracotta, and then eight layers of magenta wool. Now, starting off, we're going to do the 3D effects on the left side first. So we come to the third layer, we're going to place two grey concrete, one cyan, one grey. We're then going to come to the sixth layer, we're going to place one grey, two cyan, one grey. And then our final one is going to be on the 8th layer, and we're simply going to place 4 grey concrete. So it gives you a pattern that looks like this. Once again, that's the 3rd layer, the 6th layer, and the 8th layer. Now, in terms of the right side, we're going to come to the 7th layer. From the right corner, we're going to place 1 grey, 
one cyan, two grey, and it'll meet up diagonal with the existing two layers on the left side. For our final layer, we're going to come to the tenth row. We're going to place from the right, two grey, one cyan, and one grey. And once you've done that, that is the rear side of the legs complete. Again, if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. Moving on up, making progress to the rear side of the body. The rear side of the body, very, very simple in this case, is going to be a 12 by 8 mainly of magenta wool. So the first layer is going to be 8 magenta wool. The second layer is going to be 8 grey concrete. And then the remaining 10 layers is going to be magenta wool. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you've done it correctly, again, it should match up to the exact same height as the front side. And we'll, of course, link it together later on once we get to the point of the shoulders. So, of course, the rear side of the statue is pretty plain. And what we're going to do to counteract this is add the back bling. In this case, it's not really so much of a back bling because the back bling itself, as far as I'm aware, is like a ribbon. Um, so in this case, because it's a bit difficult to build a 3D ribbon that looks exciting and relevant and actually realistic, in this case, it's kind of just a bit 2D looking. I don't 100% feel about it, um, but I'm going to include it. So if you want to add it, feel free. If you don't, just completely drop it. So in terms of the rear side of each arm, even simpler. The first four layers is going to be purple terracotta. The remaining eight layers is going to be magenta wool. So again, just build all the way up to the top. That's four layers of purple, one layer of magenta, and exact same on this side, four layers of purple, so three on top of the original, and then eight layers of magenta, and that brings you all the way to the top. So, in terms of 3D effects, we've got the basic shape, 12 by 8, surrounded by each arm, 12 by 4. For the 3D effects, we're going to start off with the arms. So we, once again, on the fourth layer, we're going to place one purple, one magenta, two purple, and on the right side, we're going to place two purple, one magenta, one purple. So that's the basic effect we have going around the hands to kind of give the effect of gloves. What we're then going to do is come to the ninth layer. From the right side, we're going to place two purple, one magenta, one purple. And again, that continues around the effect that's going around and it will link up perfectly. The final step we're going to do, which as I mentioned before, is kind of like the little bow slash ribbon on the back as the back bling. So to do this, we're going to come to the top left corner of the body. The way you can work where that, out, uh, where that is out is by leaving a four block gap. On the fifth block, place one grey concrete. On the right side, exact same logic. Alternatively, just look to the layer to the left of this 3D effect. So again, you can see here, four block gap. So we've got our two marker points, top left of the body, top right of the body. On either side, we're going to build in towards the middle using two grey concrete. And what we're going to do is on the left side, we're going to leave one block. We're going to place one grey, one cyan, two grey, one cyan, one grey. Underneath this, we're going to place two grey, two cyan, two grey. Again, just backing up so you can see. Underneath this, we're going to leave one block. We're going to place two grey, one cyan, one grey. Underneath this, we're going to place one grey, and we're going to go two to the left. From this point, we're going to go one to right using cyan terracotta, and then we're going to place four grey. So again, it extends two blocks out towards the right side. Going back to the left, we're going to leave one block. We're going to place one cyan, one grey. Leave a two block gap and place one grey, one cyan. And then for the final blocks, underneath each of the cyan, we're going to place one grey concrete. Once you've done that, it's as simple as that. That's what it looks like. What you could do is you could actually bring the cyan terracotta forwards in some parts just to add a bit of depth to it like that if you really wanted to make it stand out. So again, that is the rear side of the body. If you want to pause, please feel free to do so. And now what we're going to do is actually start making some progress on the uh, head. Before we do that, we do indeed need to fill in the shoulders. So we're going to fill that in solid using magenta wool. So it's a 16 by 4 area of magenta wool. The majority of the middle part will be covered anyways, but make sure that the 4 by 4s on the left side and the right side are indeed magenta wool. What we're also going to do before we move on to the head is we're going to have a little spin around. This is just an opportunity, one last opportunity before the uh, next part to make sure that you're on the right track. Pause if necessary and go back in the video if things have gone wrong. So again, this is just a kind of stop point to make sure everyone's on the right path. If you're not, again, no issue, just go back in the video. If you still need more assistance, let me know down in the comment section below. 
If you want to skip this, again, feel free, but I do think it is somewhat valuable. So in this section, I'm going to basically go to each section and pause. Again, I'll read out the measurements and then just give you guys a second. So this is the front side of the legs, that's a 12 by 8 with the front side of the body a 12 by 8 and the front side of each arm a 12 by 4. Come around to the left side of the leg, 12 by 4. Underside of the left hand, 4 by 4. And left side of the arm, 12 by 4. Come around to the right side, right side of the leg is 12 by 4. Underside of the right hand is 4 by 4. And right side of the arm is once again 12 by 4. Come around to the rear side, rear side of the legs is 12 by 8. Rear side of the body, 12 by 8, and rear side of each arm, 12 by 4. And that brings us to the final side, which is the shoulders, which is, of course, 16 wide and 4 blocks thick. So with that said and done, hopefully everyone's at the same point, everyone's ready to move on, and we're going to start making some progress on the head. So for the head, we're going to come to the front side, come to the top left corner of the shoulder at the front. We're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the fifth block, we're going to place a magenta wall and bring it to forwards. On the right side, we do the exact same. Spoiler alert, it's going to be in line with the grey concrete, so that's an easy way to mark it. In between them, there should be a six block gap. In the inner row, we're going to place six magenta wool. On the outer layer, we're going to place one magenta wool, four white concrete, and one magenta wool. And if you look from below, it should now be an eight by two overhang, as you can see there. What we're then going to do is come around to these sides, and we're going to expand five backwards. And again, we're going to go for an 8x2 overhang on the rear side. This time, it's just going to be out solid magenta wall. So that gives us an 8x2 overhang on the front side and the rear side. And most importantly, it gives us an 8x8 square, as you can see here. And it's going to be the template for the head, because the head is an 8x8x8 cube. So we've got the front side, left side, right side, and rear side. We're going to focus on the front side first, because that's the only side with detail. The rest of the sides are, spoiler alert, going to be only magenta wall. So... Starting on the front side, we've got our first layer. Our first layer is as follows. We're going to place two magenta wool, four white concrete, two magenta wool. As you can see, that's already done. For the second layer, we're going to repeat this. So that's two magenta wool, four white concrete, and two magenta wool. On top of this, for our third layer now, getting into the eyes, we're going to place two quartz, four magenta wool, and two quartz. Once again, that's our third layer. Our fourth layer now is going to be two quartz, one white concrete, three magenta wool, and two quartz. So you can see we've got the eyes, this is the mouth slash nose area, and this is kind of like the line that goes up across the face. What we're going to do for the fifth layer now is going to be two magenta, one white concrete, and five magenta wool. So that is our fifth layer. For our sixth layer, once again, we're going to do two magenta two white concrete and four magenta wool. Second to last layer now, we're going to do three magenta wool, one white concrete and four magenta wool. And that brings us to the final layer, which is the eighth layer, which is going to be four magenta wool, one white concrete and three magenta wool. And once you've done that, it looks something like this. Now, it doesn't look very good. <laughs> Let's be real. What we're going to do to fix that is we're going to grab ourselves our black concrete and also we're going to grab ourselves our wither skeleton skull. This is where it comes up to you. So the one step we can agree on that looks the best is we're going to come to the second row, fourth block and fifth block, and we're going to place two black concrete in the middle as a 3D effect, and that's going to be the nose. Now this is where you can choose between the skull and the black concrete. There's three ways you can do this. In this bottom right corner of the left eye, so this one here, and the bottom left of the right eye, this is where our pupil is going to go. So step one, using black concrete, is you can replace the quartz and place black concrete. I personally quite like that. That's op option one. Option two is you can make the eyes 3D, so you can bring the black concrete forwards. Mm, uh, close, it looks meh. Further away, it looks decent. Or option three is you can replace the black concrete, once again with quartz, and in the same place you could put a wither skeleton skull. Now personally, I really like this. From close, it looks good. However, if you look at it from a side angle, the character looks really paranoid, really scared, and looks like it's just seen something very horrific. Like you'd expect there to be like a Jason Voorhees here. So if you're going to build a Jason Voorhees statue there, perfect. 
If not, maybe just stick with the black concrete eyes. Again, it's up to you. Feel free to choose whichever one you feel is best. I'm going to stick with the skulls, just because I think it's kind of amusing how scared the character looks. Um, but again, that's up to you. So that is the front side of the face. Again, if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. So in terms of the other sides, basically all we're going to do is go around the edge and we're going to build up seven using magenta wall. So we just go around this perimeter of the base that we've already built. Now, of course, the base will be the first layer. So we're building up seven and that's going to give us our eight by eight platform. So we're using solid magenta wall, just following it all the way around. It will loop around to the right side of the head and that will give us an eight by eight platform for the left side, the right side, and of course the rear side. That leaves us with one final thing to do after that, which is of course the top. In this case, we will be adding a little 3D effect on the top as well as a set of ears. And uh, once we've done that, that pretty much wraps up the video. So very close to being finished. So again, just to recap what we've done, this is the left side, that's an eight by eight. This is the rear side, once again, an eight by eight. And the right side, you guessed it, an eight by eight. So each side is just solid magenta wall. For the top side, no changes. Again, we're just going to fill it in nice and solid using magenta wool. And then we can proceed to add the 3D effects afterwards and the ears. So that's the top. Starting at the front side, the side that's got the white concrete here, we're going to come on the second layer to the fourth and fifth block. And we're going to place two magenta wool just sticking up like so. That's just to add a bit of shape to the top of the head to give it kind of a, a fur effect because there is like a spike of hair coming off the top of the head. What we're also going to do is in line with this, so we're actually going to set one block backwards, so in the third layer, we are going to build our ears. So on the left side, on the third block in, we're going to place a magenta wall, and we're going to go up one. From here, we're going to go to left twice, down twice, and to the right one. In this block gap here, we're going to place a white concrete, and behind the white concrete, we're going to place a magenta wall. So from the rear side, it looks like this. We repeat this on the right side, so come to the front right corner. Third block in, build up two, to right two, down two, to left one. In this one block gap, one white concrete, and behind it we're going to place a magenta wall. So from behind, the top of the head looks like this, and of course the front side, it looks like this. And once you've done that, that is the statue complete. Again, feel free to play around with the eyes, I just love how like creeped out this statue looks like this. Uh, I will just change it briefly just to the black concrete. So yeah, with that said, as I said before, that is the tutorial complete. I really do hope you enjoyed or found it at all useful. If you did, a like would be very much appreciated. And again, if you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. If you really want to stay notified, then click the notification bell. Or if you don't trust YouTube, and frankly I don't blame you, follow me on Twitter at GoBearGames, where I tweet out every time I upload. Again, I am going to be pumping out a bunch more Fortnite designs, as well as a potential montage soon, so stay tuned for that. And also check out the channels I partner with, which is Jbros Gaming, who does the pixel arts. I'll link his Cuddle Team Leader Pixel Art down below, as well as Jared Gaming, who does a bunch of plushes on the Frosted Network channel. Again, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Please do leave your suggestions below in the comment section. I love reading them. And also, if you want to see it, then why not suggest it? Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, my name has been Tom Gummy, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire but it's no use cause you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light shine through